Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fujinon XF35mm f2 WR lens. Do you need it in your kit bag? And what if you've got the 35mm f1.4? Let's check it out. Here's my 35 1.4 and here's Clive Blair's 35 f2. My opinions on the 1.4 are already out there. Absolutely love this lens. So I wasn't that interested in this lens from a buyer's aspect, but I'm always into checking out Fujifilm gear. And straight out the door, the 35mm f2 WR is no exception. But would I change for the 1.4? Well, check out the stats. This came out in 2012. I've had it since, I think, 2013 now. And this came out on the shelves November 2015. This has a lower RRP. This one starting out in dollars at least, 599. This 399. The 1 4 has eight elements in six groups and one aspherical element. The F2, nine elements, six groups, two aspherical elements. 35 mil on a full frame, that's equivalent of 53 mil. Angle of view then, 44.2 degrees. Of course, you've got an aperture range, F1.4 to F16 compared to F2 to F16, simple stuff. Seven rounded blades in the 1.4, nine rounded blades in the f2 focus range 28 centimeters macro to infinity on the f14 and 35 macro to infinity on the f2 so closer focusing with the f1.4 maximum magnification 0.17 times compared to 0.135 times if you look at it the 1.4 is fatter the 1.4 is 65 mil by 54 mil compared to 60 mil by 45.9 184 grams compared to 164 grams with the caps 205 182 with the caps and the hood 218 187 filter size 52 mil compared to 43 mil and you'll notice there the screwing thread right there inside that nice built-in hood now i do use my hoods on the lenses and i may have mentioned this before but just helps with lens flare helps with the contrast also i think it looks good and a bit of protection Quick autofocus check. Noticeably quieter autofocus. Pop it back off. And <laughs> watch this thing go. Let it close and go right as far as it can go. Oh yeah, definitely a lot quieter. Typical Fuji build quality. I found the autofocus smooth and fast enough for what I was doing. Most of the time, you should be fine, really. You're generally not using it for sports and running around. And as you've guessed, most of my work isn't that fast paced. The fastest thing is that little blink, that little smile that you want to catch. And I managed to get it with this. I didn't find it a big deal, but that might have been helped by the X-Pro2 as well. But again, as I'm used to shooting on film all these years and getting the moment that way, you can definitely do a great job at a wedding, an event, a party, and well, if you're traveling, it's a no-brainer, really. And that's where the weather resistance comes in. That's generally not a big deal for me, but it might be for you. And that's a big selling point for this lens, because I don't think the image quality over the two lenses is really that much of a competition. I will be honest, I prefer the extra stops. I love having a 1.4 over an F2. But in real-world use, I enjoyed this. And we're going to put up some sample images next so you can see what you can do with it. Just on a regular straight out the camera wedding.
So that's a quick look at the XF35 F2 WR compared to the 1.4 as well. Should you get it? And what if you've got the 1.4 already? Well, as we've seen, it's smaller, lighter, you lose some stops. I think the image quality really is definitely up there. It's, it's slightly different tone-wise, but it's still very nice, extremely usable lens. The autofocus is a lot quieter and it also is cheaper, at least at RRP level. And you've got the weather resistance, but I'm not gonna lie, I love my 1.4 and I'm not interested in moving over. If I were to buy fresh, I think the 1.4 still does it for me. Let us know what you think in the comments below. The conversation is there. If you've used this lens for a while, let us know what you think of the pros and cons. If you use the 1.4, let us know what you think are the differences and if you go for one or the other. Remember, these are just my thoughts. And I have only used this lens for just over a week, so, you know, a bit more time. But actually, now that I've put them side by side, I can really see a little bit more while people, frankly, are unsure which to go for. I really enjoy having the extra stops of light. That little bit of noise, maybe fraction of speed doesn't bother me, but I wouldn't argue if somebody gave me this lens to keep, even instead of the 1.4. Crazy? Maybe. Get involved in the conversation below. Don't forget to subscribe. And very soon, there's going to be a competition where I'll be giving away something from Fujifilm. Not directly given to me by Fujifilm. Something from my collection that SO Cameras have kindly sponsored for a competition. And I'm not talking about a lens cap or a lens hood or a bag or something like that. It's not even a lens. It's bigger than that. If you follow me on Twitter, you've already guessed. <laughs> Subscribe, share, get involved.